Hello, I hope that you are doing well. Uh, my name is Kazuma Davi. I'm an instructor of uh, Sager Educational Group. Uh, in this video, we will go through uh, like simulation of heavy oil cracking using console multiphysics uh, using a lump kinetic study. So if you need any like uh, further training and if you have a problem related to your console related to your console simulations you can uh, contact us using this contact information for simulation of reactors uh, actually we have uh, different types of phenomena so we need to consider like a uh, mass transfer if the temperature is constant, we can consider it's constant, but it is not, it's changing. Inside your reactor, you need to consider heat transfer. And in, actually you need like a fluid flow, since you have, a, you have like a fluid that passing through your reactor. So for the, for, for the case of a fluid flow uh, simulation, since we have like a, a post medium that is our bed here, uh, we define Brinkman equations, uh, the inlet and outlet fluid calculated based on the flow rate of uh, gaseous materials that are going to be uh, the, the, the if feedstock materials that are going to pass through the reactor. It's heavy oil uh, and the fluid properties for domains outside of the bed is defined and the density and the viscosity of the, of the oil defined in this part defined in this part and for for the first media in addition to fluid properties uh, like uh, first matrix properties are defined uh, if we define like reacting color modules uh, these uh, values wouldn't be constant anymore and they would be would change alongside of your reactor since when you have your reaction your properties are changing and you and your properties are changing your your velocity profile uh, your pressure draw would change so you need to cope these things uh, to reaction part for the reaction part you have feedstock here you have outflow you have reactions that is like a reaction of feedstock distillation like nafta or and gases elements it's uh, the kinetic that con considered for this uh, section is a lot is lump kinetics that feed the stacks uh, feed the stack that is heavy oil produce distillate uh, uh, nafta and like uh, gaseous materials for the case of kinetic variables uh, they def they are defined in this section and constant values are like this so after defining kinetic and the fluid flow and running the model using a stationary model since the system is not changing with time we can calculate the velocity pressure velocity profile pressure drop uh, and also the concentration of feedstock distillate gas and nafta and its reciprocity since the reciprocity is not uh, like uh, uniform we define a random function for for the case of porosity and also the concentration profiles is, is uh, calculated alongside of the reactor. Uh, do not forget to subscribe our channel and contact us if you need any help.